Intentional Torts, Tamlich versus Smith. Okay, this is an 1891 case. Uh, decided in 1894, events occurred in 1891, and uh, this is a, a very old case. This is the famous stick case, uh, Talmadge versus Smith, and it, it, it's the case in which uh, there's a, a lime kill for, uh, for on, on a, a certain piece of land, and there were some sheds on this on this land, and there's some boys, of course, as boys will be boys, they're playing on the shed. So the, uh, the proprietor sees the boys on the shed, and he, you know, chases them away, tells them to get off the shed. And there were about six or eight boys who were on this shed, and uh, they're on, you know, on top of the roof of the shed. They all come down, they, they go running off. Um, now, apparently what happened in this case was the proprietor, the proprietor decided that what he wanted to do was pick up a stick and throw the stick over the roof of one of the sheds. And apparently he, was, he, he appeared to be doing this because he wanted to make sure all the boys were gone and wanted to scare them off. He couldn't see the top of the shed, but he's throwing the stick anyway. And um, the stick was described as being two inches in width and about the same thickness and about 16 inches long. It's a good sized stick and, and here's, here's an adult who throws the stick. And of course, as would happen in a situation like this, one of the boys is still up on top of the shed, on the roof of the shed and the stick hits him in the eye, uh, inflicting injury, and he lost total sight in the eye. So this lawsuit is, br is brought, and um, the, uh, the counsel for the defendant, the, the man threw the stick, says that the, uh, the defendant never intended to uh, hit the boy in the eye. He uh, just wanted to scare the boys off the property. And um, there was testimony that uh, when he threw the stick, he was actually intending to hit Byron Smith, one of the boys, uh, and, uh, you know, the court said this is fully supported by the circumstances of the case. So the question is, uh, the question of, uh, is that of intent. What did, what was the intent that was discussed in this particular case? Now, when you're, you're looking at torts, when you're looking at the law of torts, uh, bear in mind that we have two very important divisions in this area of law. One is the area of intentional torts, and the other is negligence. Of course, there's a third that's called strict liability in tort, and you'll be discussing all of these uh, areas of law when you get to law school. Um, very important that you understand these, these, uh, these kinds of distinctions. Intentional tort, negligence, and strict liability. Uh, right now, we're focusing upon what we'd call an intentional tort. And of course, uh, we're, we're talking about the intent of the, of the defendant. Now, in this particular case, the court looked into the uh, issue of of what the uh, defendant intended to do when he threw the stick. And uh, the court says the right of the plaintiff to recover was made dependent upon an intention on the part of the defendant to hit somebody and to inflict an unwarranted injury upon someone. Under these circumstances, the fact that the injury resulted to another than was intended does not relieve the defendant from responsibility and the court cites uh, different cases. And um, one of the things you'll, you'll, you have to pay attention to when you're reading these cases, you're going through your case book, you'll find that very often the cases are in an, an order, a chronology, which will show you that the law has changed. Of course, you also have to understand that the law is different in jur different jur just jurisdictions. Now, if you look at this particular case, at the issue of intent, you may find that uh, in other jurisdictions there are other issues concerning intent. In other words, this court said that the intent that it was going to examine was the intent on the part of the defendant to hit somebody. And in another jurisdiction, the intent would be to in, in, the, the intent to be to, to, to throw the stick. In other words, it, there, are, there are other jurisdictions where they'll look at this case and they'll say, when a person picks up a stick, and he throws the stick, regardless of what he is, who the, the person whom he's intending to hit, he's intending to throw the stick, and he's liable for the consequences of, of his intent to throw the stick, regardless of whether he had intent to hit anyone. So that's an important distinction and uh, something you should keep in mind.